Hello everyone. What can I say here? This is not energy crisis. Well, this is one of my lectures. Uh, thank you very much. Start off lecture with a nice monster energy drink, right? Now, what is this lecture on? Is it on energy drinks itself? What is it on? Nope, it's on bad drivers. And I will actually show you how I could relate this monster energy drink right here to a bad driver. This is going to be good. First, let me see what time it is right now with my brand new pocket watch. Alright, 9.51. That means I'll have about, eh, I'd have to say about a good 15 minutes before I have to stop this. Because I, what, what I want to do here, put this to the side, what I want to do, I want to compose, you know, I want to take, I want to, I want to do a good hour-long lecture here. I'm going to film it in 15-minute segments, because sometimes, you know, when I uh, try to upload longer videos, it just doesn't work for some reason, even though it says I'm enabled to uh, upload longer videos. So I want to take that chance, so I'll compose all, all four, you know, into a movie and try to upload that. And if I can't do that, then of course I can just up upload it in four parts. I'm being smart. That's right. But I'm being a winner, too. So bad drivers. And of course we got the grand fireworks finale going on outside. Bad drivers. So many of them. You probably don't even recognize them. You don't even pay attention to them anymore. Now at first, you think, oh my gosh, that guy's such a total asshole. Something like that, for example. But now sometimes it's just a part of everyday life. Now myself, living in New York, New Jersey, that area, even when I go into the city, which is very close to my, you know, my residence, you see bad drivers all over the place. New York City taxi cabs, for one instance. Some people consider them the most, the worst drivers in the world. I wouldn't go that far, but they're pretty bad. But all they're doing is they're just trying to get you to where you need to go in the shortest amount of time possible. Or with fares, you know, as high as they are, the longest time possible. But most of the time they go fast. And where I am, you know, in New York, you always see, you always see bad drivers all the time, all the time. Even today, I saw them, which I'll, I'll get on to you know later about that. But I saw, I saw them, I see them every, all the time, all the time. I'm sorry, I can't, you know, get my composure together here. But I see them all the time. You know, for example, us uh, New Yorkers are always saying, "Oh, the Jersey drivers are so bad," or the Jersey drivers are saying, "Oh, the New York drivers are terrible." You know, that's an ongoing rivalry going on here. You know, apparently the uh, New Jersey drivers are known for basically, you know, going too slow, uh, you know, cutting people off, they don't know how to make a right turn. And that's what they're known for. New York's New Yorkers are apparently known for cutting everyone off. And I did get, although I, don't, although I don't drive, I pay attention to, I pay attention in high detail to other drivers. And sometimes I find bad drivers quite entertaining, especially when they get very mad and start giving you the finger and start swearing at you. Then sometimes I just can't help but laugh, unless they get out of the car and try to beat you up. So what I first want to get on here, people who go too slow. And actually, one moment, before I begin this, I want to bring in my little exhibits, per se. You know, so I was, I was rooting around in the basement, looking for any you know, old toy cars that I used to use or anything, uh, to uh, you know, use for my lecture. Of course, I found them. Number one, this nice uh, yellow pimpin' bus. Classic uh, Mercedes Benz. Doesn't look like a Mercedes to me. This uh, this real pickup truck like sports thing, sports car. Classic sports car here. Put it like this. This pimped out hot rod. And of course, this semi or you know, truck. I'll line them like this here, here, here. How about that? How about that? So these will be my little exhibits here, the smaller ones for you. They could go over here for now. But as well, I have larger exhibits per se that I would like to use as well. These are some Lego vehicles here. I got this black, uh, old-fashioned looking thing. Has some lights, because you know that's in style. Everyone has flashing lights on top of their car. And you got this uh, police truck. Used to be, after I accidentally dropped it, it used to be a police flatbed, but I had to put it back together. And this police, but let's let's just pretend 
for one moment that these are regular cars, shall we? Does it sound good? Sound adequate? Good. You're happy, I'm happy. So what I first want to get onto here, drivers that go too slow. They're a real pain in the behind, per se. They really are. They're very annoying. And just, if you got to go someplace, guess what? You got this guy, it's in your way. It's a two-lane road. You can't pass him. Guess what? You're screwed, right? Sometimes you just want to honk at him. Sometimes some really, even bad drivers behind the bad driver, per se, I guess even worse drivers, will go on the wrong side of the road and overtake him. We've actually seen countless videos of that uh, from India, where the buses uh, really like to overtake some of the other cars. I'm not holding a stereotype against India, because of course, the U.S., England, any country, has its fair share of bad drivers. Maybe, according to some, some countries have more than others. But it's all, it all comes down to a matter of semantics. But people who go too slow. Let me bring out two cars here. How about I use the bus and the sports pickup? The bus is going really slow, right? Boop, boop, boop. Hey, who knows? Who knows what's going on? Who knows? Maybe it's full of people. Who knows? Maybe it's got a driver that's... Does, maybe the bus doesn't, doesn't go fast. Whatever reason it is, he's going really slow. This hot rod comes up. Oh, boy, he's stuck behind him. Beep, beep. beep. All right, this isn't playtime. Forget about it. Anyway, he's going up. He's getting mad. So he gives him the finger, flips him off, and goes away. That's what one c scenario is. And drivers that go too slow, it could really be an annoyance. So, I mean, you're, you're trying to get some place to, as I said before, and I'll give, I'll give a scenario right now. Say it's, I don't know, 8.55 a.m., who knows, you slept in, you're late for work. You're going to, you know, you're driving to the office right now, and don't you think this 90s piece of garbage gets in front of you, and it's just going 20 miles per hour, and how about, how about a 45 miles per hour zone? And one other thing first. The, I'm, you know, this is the U.S. I know I have people in Europe that watch these lectures, too. Uh, if you wish, if you, for your own purposes, if you wish, uh, you could convert miles per hour to kilometers. Anyway, this guy's going 20 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. How about that? And you just gotta get to work, otherwise your boss is gonna kill you. He's, go, he's just creeping along, creeping along, going slower and slower, it seems, until he's, he's down to 15 now. And you, you're just, you're mad, you're honking at him, he's not going anywhere. Now, that's a problem right there. You're gonna be late for work, he's going too slow, maybe even just to annoy you. You're getting mad, and maybe he's getting mad at you for getting mad at him. If you, if you could understand that. I hope. And regarding that, he just... You're, not, you're basically, you're not getting anywhere. He may not be in a hurry, maybe he is, maybe he just has a garbage car, but I mean... Come on. Here's what you should do, if you're a slow driver, if there's a two-lane road, you got some guy that just wants to get past you, go to the right lane. Come on. Just let him let him get past you. Then you need to worry about this jerk, and he doesn't need to worry about you. You'll both get to your places with ease, more or less. Ten o'clock right now. I'll be up late. Something to say, but yeah, slow drivers, a real inconvenience. My public bus, actually, the tour bus, which I'll be riding again in September, has the greatest driver in the world, by the way. You know, he likes to drive really aggressive, but, man, he's a good driver. That's all I gotta say. Whenever he gets a, whenever, whenever he comes upon a slow driver, some buses will just, you know, creep behind him. But no way, he just, he'll pass them, even on the right lane, and just, just anything to get past them. He drives like the taxis, too. Just get you, get you, you know, to where you need to go in the fastest time humanly possible. Without getting into an accident. Time travel's not invented yet. Now, another thing, people who go too fast. Now you're thinking, alright, you got people who go too slow, that's no problem. But people who go too fast? I mean, what if I need to go someplace? Would, would I be a bad driver then? Now here's where I'm getting at by this. Let me bring out two other cars here. How about classic sports car and pimped out McDonald's toy? Sports car. So that's what this thing looks like to me. Alright. 
This guy's driving it. This is on the interstate, per se, all right? Maybe not on the interstate, but, you know, a good highway where you can pass people, all right? And you got this guy who's just going really, really fast. You're just going, you know, at speed, a regular speed limit. He's going really, really fast. Maybe he doesn't see you. Maybe he just, maybe the weather conditions, who knows? He, he can't, he can't break on time, can't pass you, boom, he rear-ends you. Accident for both of you. He's got to go someplace, maybe not. Boom, pimped out sports car is totaled. Your, you know, your car has repairs. Lose, lose. That's only one scenario, of course. Many fast drivers will just pass you. However, I've seen it plenty of times on the interstate, where there they are, or on the, you know, the big highways, about four lanes, and there's one driver going in when one person's still in front of him, weaving in and out of traffic, and those people worry me, and I'll tell you why. They're weaving so precariously in and out of traffic that I'm just worried, all right, when is this guy going to crash? When is he going to get in that accident, you know? When? Just when? It's, it's going to be a matter of minutes, I think. But of course, it's not. Sometimes it is, though, and let's just say, him going at that speed, maybe sideswipes a car, rear-ends a car, who knows, maybe... God help, if he's on a smaller highway or a full head-on collision, people could get injured, even die from that. Speeding takes its toll. However, does that mean I'm telling you don't speed? No, I'm just suggesting be more careful next time you do it. You never know what could happen. Whatever scenario here. How about, uh, quote, Mercedes-Benz here. And believe me, I'm making my own scenarios up here. Mercedes-Benz is going 75. And this undercover police semi-truck didn't tip over. Pulls up, boom, guess what? He gets a speeding ticket. Costs him some money and some time. Looks like he's not getting any place fast. So, I mean... That's another problem. Going too fast and too slow. It's a big problem. Both of them can annoy you in some way. However, if you're the guy going fast, guess what? You 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 got maybe maybe not. Maybe you actually have an emergency to go to. Or maybe you're just going to McDonald's to get that special on the hamburgers. Just made that up. Anyway, you're going fast. You're going 75 and you're thinking, <laughs> "Look at these idiots. Look at these guys. Look at me. I'm going faster than them." No, I actually don't think like that. They're just saying, "I'm getting places." You know, I gotta get here. I gotta get here, man. They're saying, I gotta get here. And I am. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting here. Maybe not even that. Maybe they're just... But I'm just going through all the different mindsets here, mind you. Uh, they're just trying to get... You know, they're just trying to get their place. Some people are just taught or raised up, quote, to be a fast driver. And in most cases, there's nothing you could do to change that. But I'm just showing what could happen in the worst case scenario here. Could get in an accident that could harm... They're, they're basically putting their lives... And other people's lives in danger, and if a police officer or uh, a police officer is around and they can't see that officer, guess what? They're getting a ticket. So that, that those are the negatives, you know, to going too fast, and you could get in an accident. You know, get your priceless Mercedes Benz, and the police, and how about how about the quote police semi, all smashed up? Oh boy, guess what? That'll cost you money. You know, if you're the one that caused the collision. Hey, guess what? You're the one that's responsible for it. Oh, well. i actually tell you a story right now here. The, um... Me and a couple of my friends, uh, this was in May, I guess. It was a cool, rainy day. I decided to, uh, go to the... We were going to the movies, and, uh... I was decked out. I was wearing my black sweater and, uh, tie set. Anyway... So my friend's brother decided to drive us to the movies. You know, we're going, we're stuck in construction traffic. Very heavy traffic. We're inching along by inching, inching, inching. And uh, my friend's brother, he was a, a very aggressive driver. He still is, actually. And uh, he says, uh, you know, all right, he says, look at this asshole. I'm quoting him here. He says, look at this guy. You know, because this guy just cut us off, too. That's another thing I'll be getting into. But this guy just cut us off, and he says, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to annoy him right now, he said. I'm going to annoy him. I'm going to go really fast, and I'm just going to stop right almost, you know, inches away from his bumper, and I'm just going to slam my horn at him. <laughs> That's going to piss him off. 
first off, I was thinking, wait a minute, what if the guy gets out and just, like, starts giving him the works? Saying, what the what, what the F is your problem, man? Or something like that. But regardless, he does it anyway. And he says, alright, I'm gonna stop here for a while. And then we gain some sufficient room between the two cars. And then he just floors it. He's going, he's going. He slams on the brakes, and guess what happens? Not quick enough, and boom, full rear he rear ends the guy, boom, smashes his cu smashes his hood up, and uh, even luckily the guy in front of us had a big SUV, but he damaged some of the back. The other driver comes out, he's so mad, he starts smashing our windshield, boom, boom. I was worried. Well, I, I'm not responsible for that. I was worried for his brother, thinking, oh God, what, <laughs> what? He must. He got himself into some really deep. Do do. Yeah, that's another thing. You got to deal with some real angry drivers. You know, if you get in an accident like that, you caused. You're delaying him from getting where he needs to be. You're delaying yourself. You know, so you got to deal with that mental factor as well. You know. So when did I start here? I started at nine fifty one. It's around ten one. Ten eleven. All right. So I'll stop at about. I'll stop at about ten ten. And that'll be that. Now I'll start part two here. So anyway, going too fast or too slow, no good. Just go to the speed limit. Actually, you could go about 10 miles per hour faster. And that's a safe zone quote. So then, you know, you could actually still get to where you need to go faster. But just don't go, don't go like 20, 30, 40 miles per hour faster. Now what's another thing here? Exit right from the left lane. That actually happened to me today, surprisingly enough. You know, we, uh, we were driving over to uh, our local Planet Wings store that opened up. They serve uh, very good wings. Yeah, I actually, I go there so often, I know all the people that work there. You know, so that's, that actually is pretty good. Anyway, we're going over there. You now, we're, we're driving over there. Don't you think the city in the left lane cuts us off by inches trying to get to the, uh, you know, to the exit on the parkway? Don't you think, well, that's a problem. That's a real annoyance right there. Could have gotten an accident right there. But, no, he, he didn't care. He didn't care at all. So, uh, that that's one problem right there. People who exit, you know, right from the left lane. Basically, I call them last-minute people. Because that, that's what they are. They're exiting at the last minute. You gotta think, once you had room to get in the right lane, go ahead and do it. But, nope. No, they got it. They gotta do it. Sometimes you gotta think, these people just do that to get on your nerves? I doubt it, but... Yeah, you know, they're just... They, hey, that's how they were taught, probably. Or they're just a bunch of idiots. Or the guy could be lost. It all depends. However, it is what it is. Now, regarding that, first of all, it depends on how close they cut the guy off. That, that's one way to cut people off, also. But it depends on how close they cut the person off. If you cut them off by mere inches, believe me, the guy's gonna slam on his horn, maybe give you a nice finger... Some nice things to say out his window at you. Maybe he's not going to do anything, but it, it depends. Then you'll just be getting someone else angry for no good reason. Or, in one aspect, which I've seen a couple videos online of this, actually. The idiot cuts right in front of you. You're going, you know, he's going too slow. He cuts right in front of you and you, he swipe, side swipes you, you know. Oh, come on, don't do that. Don't do that. Not, not good, not good. That was my dad, he was walking by, he was... Mm, well, anyway. No good. Anyway, <clears throat> where was I here? And it's 10-10. I'll start part two momentarily. BRB.